It's a unique look into how big game animals migrate across our state. It's also an innovative way for the public to better understand the routes Wyoming's big game animals have used for generations. The Wyoming Migration Initiative, a project involving wildlife researchers at the University of Wyoming and cartographers at the University of Oregon, advances the understanding, appreciation, and conservation of Wyoming's migratory ungulate populations by conducting data migration research, creating maps from these data, then sharing that information. University of Wyoming professor Matthew Kaufman is the initiative's director and co-founder. Migration naturally lends itself to being depicted on a map. And what we hope that, that people will get from those is just an appreciation for these journeys, appreciation for the, the vast landscapes that they cover, the long distances, um, sometimes the long durations that they cover. Migration is really it's difficult for the everyday person to observe. So it's difficult for us to understand and appreciate migration just as a phenomenon. So then the maps kind of bring those migrations to life and also illustrate different dimensions of those migrations that are, that are really remarkable. For years, various GPS studies of migratory big game have been funded and conducted by state and federal agencies, university researchers, environmental consulting firms, and non-governmental agencies. These data have now been compiled and made accessible through the initiative and helps illustrate issues such as the importance of conserving migration routes. Recent work by the WMI shows for the first time how elk, mule deer, moose, bighorn sheep, and pronghorn all use Wyoming wilderness areas, mostly as high country summer range, but also as migration corridors. But migration requires vast landscapes, which means private, state, and federal lands are just as critical. An example, the recently discovered Red Desert to Hoback mule deer migration that originates on Bureau of Land Management Winter Range in the Red Desert, extends north across the foothills of the Wind River Mountains on public and private lands, and ends on Summer Range in the Grovant Wilderness Area, a nearly two-month journey of 150 miles. The vast distances these animals cover each year is fascinating. It's also key in sustaining Wyoming's abundant big game herds. The Wyoming Migration Initiative is giving us another look at our wild friends and a larger appreciation of them. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.